Hi everyone, it's Grace um, from GP Maltese, of course. Um, I am wanting to first, before I do anything, is to thank all of my subscribers, my new ones, and the ones who've been with you from the beginning, and the ones who've joined along. I saw that I had a few more from what I had the last time I made a video, and that pumped me up thinking, I need to get back to making videos because I really do enjoy doing it. And you're probably wondering, uh, is that why you're dressed up like this? Is that why you have all the glitz and... Actually, I finished this black lacy shawl and I thought I needed to wear something a little dressy to show it off. I made it out of loops and threads. Payette, I'm not sure exactly how you say that. And the pattern is under the label. Now I had bought this yarn several years ago, but I was afraid to try to ever try making a shawl. But I want to show you how it looks. I think it came out nice. In the back it comes to a point. So I was very pleased with it and I wanted to show it to you guys. So that's not my only thing I have finished. I also did um, Aaron of Gimme Yarn 418's Down the Rabbit Hole Shawl. And I enjoyed doing this one so much. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm going to show you something I think I want to try with it. Because it kind of lends itself to it. Yeah, I know this doesn't look so great together. But you can kind of pull it up and make a little collar. And I thought I could even put a little button or uh, just a little pin right there. And you can see it makes collar. And then it looks like you have these little sleeves and in the back it goes down. So I really like it. Let me get my hair out of the way. See all the pretty colors? But I think it looks nice and for when it's cold you could put put it like this so it would keep you warmer when it's cold but in Texas it's today was pretty warm probably in the 70s it might have gotten close to 80 I'm really not sure the yarn I used for that was I used one cake of Lion Brand Mandala yarn and the color was Camara and that's the color that I'm holding in my hand right now. This is really nice. It worked up very nice, easy to work with. It's acrylic, so this will be easy to wash. I have not blocked it as yet. Um, I, I was too excited wanting to show it to you. But look at the colors, I think, are just gorgeous. And I love the stitch pattern. I think it's so pretty. It'll come out more, I think, once I have blocked it but it's a very nice pattern and all of the proceeds that she makes from this is going for a fun for her little nephew he's not I don't think he's quite a year old as yet but he is undergoing um, chemo and other treatments for um, so some problems with cancer and if you want to know more about it uh, go to her, um, she has a YouTube channel, and she has a link to the her sister's vlog, our blog, uh, so you can read more about it. But all the proceeds that she makes from selling that pattern will go to help fund his medication and uh, all of the costs. If you've had loved ones who've had cancer or other diseases, you know it gets very expensive. The pattern is such a uh, a fun pattern, and it's for such a good cause, and the pattern is very, very inexpensive. I couldn't believe it. So, go check Erin out at Gimme Yarn 418 on Ravelry, and she has a YouTube channel also with the same name. Okay, um, I also have a poncho I'm working on. I didn't bring it in here. I'll show that to you later. It's not finished yet. I'm still working on it. And I'm using some of my ice yarns for that. 
I have ice yarns back here I've shown to you before. Behind me, as you can see, I have some stacks of Karen Cakes in Lion Mandala yarns. And up higher, let me lean you where you can see, I have other yarns up there. So, I think one day I will do like a, a video tour of my craft room where you can kind of see how I have it fixed. <laughs> It's just mostly a jumbled mess, but I'll show you kind of how I have things arranged. Um, I wanted to show you something that I had purchased at the dollar store, the dollar, dollar Tree, that I think are so cute. They're these little clothespins. Is that not the cutest? You buy them in a package for a dollar. You get a lot of these little clips and you think, what are you going to use that for? I will show you later how I have clipped some things to my closet. I have slatted doors in my closet and I've clipped some cards that I've received from friends and it gives, it's a happy thing for me to look at when I'm in here. Um, another thing, I had told you the last time I made a video, which has been a few weeks, sorry, uh, that I had found something when I was cleaning out the room and I was cleaning out some drawers. And what I found was, was some yarn that I had completely forgotten about. When I first started crocheting, oh my goodness, it's been, I don't know, five years or more. I've just now gotten to where I'm more dedicated to it and really trying to work uh, on making more things. Back then, you know, a scarf, a hat was about all I could manage. Uh, so I'm trying to get into more things. And I thought... I went to, some of you may have heard of it, Darn Good Yarn. They do have a website. I think they have a Facebook page also. And I had bought a lot of yarn from them. And when I got it, I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. What it is, I have have already had put it into balls when I used it. It is recycled silk from uh, in India the women in India they wear the, the silk saris and some of the scraps and things that are left over are repurposed to make this beautiful yarn this is a little bit thick right here on this one um, it I don't know if you can see it in there it's got gold thread running through it I do not even remember the color name because I don't know what I did with the um, labels. I had started out several years ago making a scarf out of chains and I might continue this but I'm going to pull it out because I have no idea what size hook I used um, and what actually I was even doing. This was the piece that is going to be, you You make your chain and then you kind of do like a slip stitch through this end and then you continue with the chain around. So it makes a nice pretty scarf and you can make the chains different lengths. I had made one for my daughter uh, and she got lots of compliments on it. And I did hers out of something called banana fibers. It was, I had never ever worked with anything like that. It was beautiful colors but the it was a little bit stiff to work with but it came out just gorgeous but this is these I found all of these different balls some more gold in them that's not all I found though that's just some of the yarn I found in there then I found some more recycled silk yarn I'm holding it where you can see it. And this is also from Darn Good Yarn. And I had even started balling some of it up, as you can see. I had no idea what I was going to do with it because back then I was not a, uh, I was be an absolute beginner. So I'm thinking I've got quite a few balls of this, little hanks, and some of them are made into balls. 
that I might be able to make a shawl. We'll see if I have enough to do that. Each one of these Hanks has, let's see. Eighty yards. It's a hundred grams. It's, it is very thick, and it's called a light worsted weight. Um, and it has to be dry cleaned or hand washed, or you can do it on a delicate cold cycle. And this gives you a little bit of the story about it. It says um, this is eighty yards of new recycled silk sari remnants, hand spun in northern India by expert spinners. So this has been spun from the remnants that they have. This keeps them from having all of that thrown away, all of those scraps and remnants thrown away for another purpose and it's beautiful. The colors are very very nice and as you can see it looks kind of fuzzy. It's the nature of the yarn. So I'm excited. I have, like I said, quite a few in this bag. I had, like I said, I completely forgot about it. And that's not all of it. I also found these. It's the same. This is 100% pure silk. All of these are silk, by the way, um, because of their saris are made from silk. But there is 100% silk. This is called Nepalese Hand Spun Recycled 100% Pure Silk. Fair trade and child labor free. Which I found to be fascinating because the women who are doing this are able to make money to support their families. So I think it is a really good cause to help people in another country to be able to, just like, um, friends and things that we have here who do crafts or if you have a small store in your town I'd like to try to free, to buy from them to help them support their families so anyway I have a lot of these also so now that I am a much better crocheter I can actually think of some things to use these with so that was a surprise for me to find all of this and you think, well, that was a lot. Well, that wasn't all I found. This next silk I'm going to show you is mulberry silk. And this is spun by the silkworm. I don't remember where I purchased it. Uh, it's Like I said, it's been several years. But the colors are absolutely gorgeous. And not knowing what I was doing, I did not know what to use it for. But this reminds me of butterfly wings. I think it's just gorgeous. And I'm not even sure how much is on each one of these hanks. I have three in this color. So I'm not sure what I can get made out of this as yet. I have, oh wait, no, I have four in that color. So I don't know if I'd have enough for a shawl or not. I'll have to check that out. And then I have three in this color. And this is also mulberry silk. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's just tiny little specks of silver in it. Again, it's got um, it's mulberry silk. It's got purple, lime green, turquoise. And it's got some specks of silver in there. And I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this yet. 100% silk. Just like the other mulberry silk. And the last one that I found, which you think, well, that was quite a bit since you didn't even know you had it. Um, I found this. This is mulberry silk, and this has little beads on it. This has little gold beads. I'm sure if you can see it very well in there or not. It's kind of an um, ivory color, not a bright white, and it's got the little gold colored beads. The beads slide up and down. They're not just stationary so they do move and I'm just trying to decide what I might be able to make with this. I have no ideas as of right this minute. Uh, if you have any ideas of something I might be able to do with that, 
share with me. I would love to hear your ideas. I have really been enjoying the Vedas or Vedas or V E D A vlog every day in April or video every day in April, whatever it is. I 